Welcome to this semester's last edition of the Weekly Roundup, where we bring you the top stories from the week. I'm Amanda Charles with GTV. A global phishing scam hit university Gmail accounts Wednesday afternoon. Google was able to shut down the scam soon after it started, and they have taken actions to combat the effects of the scheme. The College of Veterinary Medicine is mourning the loss of Professor Robert Morrison, who died Tuesday in a car crash while abroad in the Czech Republic. Dr. Morrison was a leader in swine research and health management. Two attorneys have been hired by the U to review the school's response to the sexual assault allegations against members of the football team last September. The goal is to help the university improve tactics for responding to situations like this in the future. A task force organized by the university to address a growing concern over student mental health released a 26-page report outlining approaches for interactions between faculty and students with mental health issues. The report focuses on stress prevention and an increase in support. It looks like the Gopher men's basketball team's success may continue for a while as coach Richard Pitino received an extension to his coaching contract until the year 2022. And success seems to be a common theme through other Gopher sports as well. The softball team is headed towards a Big Ten championship for the first time since 1991, and the men's tennis team is hoping to continue their successful season as they enter the NCAA tournament. Thanks for watching this week's Weekly Roundup. Have a fun and relaxing summer, Gophers.